first of all, thank you very much for coming. It's an honor to uh, have this discussion with you all. Shari mentioned uh, the star team. <laughs> the star team was led by my colleague, uh, uh, Muguntan Vanar. So he's like the expert on Tanwao. I ikut ikut saja. <laughs> okay, uh, we go straight. Huh? Now is what time? Huh? 807? Oh, okay, cool. Okay, tonight, tonight I'll be talking about uh, Sulu claim, and then it's about propriet prop proprietary sovereignty and security. Okay, uh, today I came in a bit early, and then uh, our professor or lecturer from uh, UM, US, UMS, kan? She, uh, she teach international relations, so she asked me, uh, how did you become interested in this subject? So I said, uh, tunggu sekejap lah, I tell you now. <laughs> I mean, I tell you later, so na later is now now. I just uh, briefly explain how I got a bit of interested in uh, Sulu and then uh, yeah, my journey and then actually before going to Sulu it's like my, inf my knowledge of it is zero actually. It's actually we have many stereotypes because maybe uh, we don't really understand the other side so we assume many things. Okay, just a bit of introduction. Why I, I become uh, interested in Sulu is because of the year 2000 there was a uh, uh, kidnapping in Sipadan. So 20, 21 people, right? 21 or 23? 21, 21 uh, hostages, 11 Sabah, Sabahan, what? Right? Oh, what's the difference? <laughs> uh, he says Malaysian, but I said Sabahan. Lah. Okay, uh, 11 Sabahan, kena kidnap. So uh, the star sent us, uh, Mugu was also part of the team. We were covering this big story. So that's my introduction. So just to show you this picture, this is the year, 20 to, the year 2000, so 23 years ago. Uh, yeah, that's me here. I'll just introduce people. This is his famous back then is Commander Robot. This is Mujib Susukan. Both of them are considered the key leader of Abu Sayyaf. This guy is Roland, kan? Ro uh, he's a cook in Borneo Divers. This one is, ah yeah, kenapa di atas tidak ada? This one, this one, this one are uh, Sabahan. Then the rest are Abu Sayyaf. Uh, they, these are Abu Sayyaf. Uh, Jackson is from Bernama, orang rungus from Matunggung. <laughs> so we were covering this. So we were at the uh, Abu Sayyaf, nya, technically the HQ at that time, and then we were with the Sabahan hostages. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, then uh, that is the year 2000, and then in the year last year, Sajat, 20. 2020, 2023, I was uh, in Holo, and then Holo, after that, uh, when you go Holo that time, you need a bit of escort, but what I understand now, it's much more relaxed there, lah. a lot of tourism, <laughs> which Anwar and I wanted to do some four-wheel drive there, tapi they all a bit lambat to reply, but that's another story. Lah. So this is my background. So, so from the year 2000 until 2023, that is last year, I'm quite interested in the subject, lah. so I do uh, once in a while, piggy holo lah. Okay, so, okay, for me, uh, when, I, when I posted this, for me, I say, arguably, Sabah and Sulu are twins. Then some people said, manada lah, etc., etc. lah. So some people disagree with me. But then I use the word arguable lah. Arguable means boleh argue lah. Okay, so for me, it's why we are twins. First of all, it's geography, actually. Whatever happens here, happens here. And then history. Uh, my argument will be, this one panjang, but I just do simple. Uh. Like history, we memang have history with them. The very fact that we have this tampa judgment, we do have history with them. Like husband and wife juga, ada uh, history. Okay, then geography also, we're very close to them. And then uh, in terms of uh, geopolitics also, things can happen here, from here, happen here, it will affect us. For example, Tanduau, etc., etc. And then the other one is uh, the people. Take, uh, our, it depends on the population, kan? Uh, um, many Sabahans, I use the word many, uh, uh, have origin in uh, Holo. Okay, I'll explain soon. Lah. So, so, okay, see, the baju, the promo dulu. I, actually, uh, people always say, hey, why you wear the same baju? Actually, I have 10 of this. So, I, I don't wear the same baju every day, but I wear the same design different days. Lah. So this is me in Holo, just to show, and sometimes uh, when I was in Holo, then I post. People, when they think of Holo, they always think like, 
macam sana, dark zone, etc. etc. But when you look at them, they are, they are sama juga macam kita. They also got uh, macam most of us think like, oh, they are Abu Sayyaf. But actually, that is maybe one percent of people from Sulu. The rest are like us juga. We also want to make a living. We also mau ada boyfriend ka, ada mau kawin like this lady. They baru kawin. Oh. Okay. So when you look at that, yes, it looks normal, kan? Food, tapi memang ada security juga lah. Eh? So like I say, we are connected with them. Geography, people, the uh, Suluk and the Tausuk are the same people. Okay. Suluk dari here lah. Okay, then history, we share common history, and also geopolitics. Things can happen and to us lah, okay. And then, uh, like this one, this food kan, kau tengok tu kan? Sama. Yeah, sama. Tengok, same, same, but different kan, tapi sama juga. Rasa dia pun sama juga. So, this is the food, I, this kedai very famous actually. They, uh, it's called Dennis. So, they serve this food. So, we do have similarity. So, arguably, they are twins. Then, my question is, siapa yang evil twin? Okay. Okay. So now, uh, I think uh, what we sh what we should do is we should also understand who's the adversaries we're facing, and then who are they. Uh, this one is in the context of the stampa judgment. Uh, I'm I, I want to explain uh, in terms of the context because of the recent. Baru one year ago, or two years ago, we were suddenly reading the newspaper that Malaysia owe uh, the Sulu family fourteen point eight billion, and then it seems what is it? Twenty uh, percent of our GDP, ka? Uh, yeah, out, yeah, it, of Malaysia GDP, kan? GDP. 20, yeah, 20 percent, lebih kurang lah. So, actually, it's very important for us. We we just don't read the newspaper and think oh, Sulu or or Holo or claim. So we don't understand. So I just want to explain who they are. Okay. So who 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 is our adversaries? Okay, definitely they are Filipino, definitely, kan? Because they are from Philippines. However. Arguably, some of them are Sabahan, yang claiming that uh, the arbitration too, and then or have close link to Sabah. So I'll give you three points why I say so. Okay, point number one. Tidak uh, clear ni kan? Okay, this person is Sultan Punjungan. Okay, Sultan Punjungan. This one is Jamalul Kiram. Nanti I will explain who Jamalul Kiram. This is Dayang Dayang. I forgot the name already. Dayang Dayang. One of the 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 stamp the the Mekeski judgment punya no piando sudah pass away i forgot tarhata or uh, sakinorin sa, sa, if i'm not mistaken she's one of the claimant eh, out of nine i think and then this is the philippine yeah, what so he is this guy i will explain to you who he is okay remember i told you we have link uh, no they have link to sabah huh? so Okay, so one of the A in the Maskeski judgment is called Datuk Punjungan Kiram, that one I showed you all. He lived in Sabah from 1968 to 1980. Uh, yes, the read, if you all want to know why, it has something to do with Tun Mustafa and the idea to have a Sabah Sultan. But then the, later the plan changed. Okay, ah, I already saved all of the answer. <laughs> he was in the state to prepare for his crowning as Sultan of Sabah. Okay, but something happened, tidak jadi. So that is one link. Can you imagine he lived from 68 to 1980? He's one of the Mekeski judgment. His granddaughter is in the Stampa punya claim. The one that, the list of that, the, yang dapat 14.2 billion or something. Okay, so then, this is Tanduau. Uh, Tanduau is 2013. Big thing kan, Tanduau, they came, and then uh, things happened. So who's behind Tanduau? Behind Tanduau is, Okay, first we must understand Tandoawa or Lahadatu intrusion. Because of Lahadatu intrusion, then after that we uh, we decided not to pay the five thousand three hundred ringgit to the nine A of the Makaski judgment because we did not pay that one. Then it led to the fourteen point nine dollar final award. So ada link to. Okay, so who who led the apa tu the Tandoawa? We call it Tandoawa lah, but it's Lahadatu. Intrusion kan? It was led by Raja Muda Amibudin. Si Raja Muda ni, dia punya bapa is this one. This is his brother. And that time, the Sultan, when during the siege, he was in Manila. He claimed. He 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 instructed the intrusion lah. So si si siapa tu? Amibudin 
is the Raja Muda, Crown Prince. So he led the thing, and then he worked in Sabah as an ADO di Kudat between 74 and 79 because that time they memang ada link here lah. That's what I'm saying. Why there's a link? It has something to do with Tun Mustafa also. Okay, but let's not go too much into that lah. Okay, then. Okay, so now we must understand also the mentality. Remember, I showed you Jamalul Kiram. He was the Sultan who said, "Yes, I'm the one who instructed it." But inside story is actually not him lah. Actually, it's the brother, the, the young, the, the crown prince is more militant. This guy more in Manila. It's a different game lah. But okay, so he said, "Ah, huh? so he was asked, uh, what are you going to do? You are now in Lahadatu, blah blah blah.'" Then he said, "Why should we leave our own home? Kita punya rumah kan?" Sabah kita punya. Okay, our followers will stay in Lahadatu. Nobody will be sent to the Philippines. Sabah is our home. There will be no turning back for us. Jamalul Kiram III told the media during the Lahadatu intrusion. Lah. So that's the link. Ah. Okay, and then the other thing is, some of the claimant in the Stampa final award, ada lapan tu. The interesting thing is, some of them are Sabahan. Ada tu. I can... Uh, one of them even show me the other Mount Kinabalu. They climb Mount Kinabalu. Uh, I, I have it there actually. So some of them are Sabahan, so they're relative. Some can tinggal di Kedah, study in ITM. I hope you understand if you study in ITM, what does that mean? Okay, but yeah. Some studied in secondary school. Yang satu ni kan, dia punya classmate is a former Sabah chief minister. He always go to that house, the Likas. Okay. Some have climbed uh, Mount Kinabalu. <laughs> okay. So... Our link with them is quite close, actually. Bukan yang, I don't know, yang macam some Uganda, Nigerian prince, macam tu, who is claiming Jupiter ka, moon or whatever. Ada. There is some link. Okay, so we must understand. Okay, so then, so for the Sulu Sultanate family ni, for them, how they feel is, they feel macam they are Sabah's discarded relative. Yang macam kita ada nenek, we put it up at the attic and kita tapuk there and everything. So that's how they feel. They feel macam, they have they is part of sawa tapi kita pun macam push them away lah this is just their perspective because when you go there you will understand how the other side thing lah okay okay so who are the claimants in the sulu arbitration case ada 8 tu kan 8 ka 8 because one died i thought 7 okay 8 8 or 9 8 8 okay ada 8 Okay, ada lapan. So my job for me is, uh, when they announce ada lapan claimants, for me is like some people mau pergi Enfield, which I want to go. Some people mau pergi Isla, Island of Isla, mau try pitted whiskey. Uh, for me is, one of my dream is to meet at least satu, satu ni. One, one of the, one of the claimants. One of the claimants. So that was my dream lah. Okay, and then bukan senang to meet them because they are, that time they are very tense. They think that because they got 14.8, 14.9 billion, kan? I put there. So they are a bit worried lah of their safety. However, tung, I managed to meet one of them. Oh. So this one is si, ah, uh, si siapa tu? Uh, okay, I forgot his name. Kenapa? Why I forgot that? Sampang. Ah, si Sampang. This is, uh, he's from the Sampang family. So I met him in Zamboga City. Very interesting guy, he told me, uh, etc. So, okay. So I had a talk a bit with him. That's my phone or his phone, I'm not sure. Uh, this is my Sabah Way Forward Nia t-shirt. <laughs> okay. So I was in Garden Orchid Hotel, spoke to him. Very, it's really uh, an insight, actually. So I asked him this question. I said, how do you feel that you are going to get billions of peso? So he says, happy and enthusiastic. Okay, and then ada lah lain lagi kan, panjangnya cerita. Then I said, so what, what do you think of the chances of getting that amount? So he told me, time will tell. Once you are against the government of Malaysia, it's very hard. They have all the resources and they have abundant supply of brilliant people. But sometimes, they get instant idiots. Look at a former... Okay, ni boleh kena su ni, so we don't know who. I also don't know, saya tidak tahu siapa. But just because of one blunder, dia punya blunder, he was looking down at us without knowing what he's doing. I think this is a very fair statement from them also because kadang-kadang kan, we look down on them. Dia miskin lah, tiada ni lah. But they don't understand they're backed by, uh, I think, uh, yeah, collectively very rich uh, litigation fund lah. 
yang backing them. So, okay, so that is his quote. Then, very interesting nih. Then around I forgot when uh, May or something last year, I was supposed to go there and meet him. Okay, tapi then they had the Sulu arbitration DKL, so I cancelled it It's because I needed to talk in the Sulu arbitration. And lucky I did not go to Philippines to meet him because on the day I'm supposed to meet him, then he masuk hospital, then uh, he had complication and he passed away. So can you imagine if I met him and then I had makan with him at the same place and he passed away? I will run to the airport. I will run to the airport and because they will, th they already, memang they're very suspicious of Malaysian because they think Malaysian will do things to them because of the what. So most probably they will think I'm SB, which I'm not. Uh, but somebody smiled when I said that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's not lah. Okay, but yeah, so he passed away. He passed away lah. So sayang actually. He's, he's really... Uh, Quite an interesting guy actually, and then, yeah, and then he knows a lot about uh, Sabah. Okay, so that's, so now we go back to, uh, let's go back to know thy adversary lah. We go back to that. Huh? Okay, in general, the claimant they are people of Sulu, but specifically they are Tausuk. Okay, who in Sabah are called Suluk. Just give you a bit of a bit of uh, what do you call it? Uh, ethnicity in Holo, the majority are Tausuk. Okay, Tao Suk. Tao means people. Suk means the wave, the people of the wave because they are they are expert too. Actually, make it simple. Kopi gi sempurna. Siapa boatman? Uh, the people of the wave. Okay. So in Sabah they call Suluk. So I asked them why are you called Suluk? Then they told me because dulu dulu the British time, then they said I'm I'm Tao Suk 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 and then we don't know how to pronounce. We become Suluk Suluk Suluk. So. The Tausuk becomes Suluk here, but it's the same race. It's the same uh, people. So, yeah. Uh, it's very important to what? That's why I remember I said we are also linked with them in terms of uh, people. They are Sabahans who are from Holo, or they are Tausuk, which, who are Suluk. Then it, it's the whole issue, itu saja. I even see like our politician, they only think it's one issue. But for me, is I put them, I call it basket. I like when I tell people story, I say, this basket, that basket, this basket. So this one basket is the propriety in your basket. Then the other one is sovereignty. The other one is security. So I explain first propriety. Propriety, very simple. Kita utang, they all rent. Kita tidak bayar. So they sue kita pakai stampa yang maybe masuk jail atau tidak. And they won that case. So therefore, we owe them 14.9 billion because we did not pay. We stopped payment of the rent. So propriety is about rent. Itu saja, rent. Okay, rental. Then sovereignty is very simple. Sovereignty very sim is <coughs> Sabah belong to us, we own it. Okay, is the analogy is they're not asking for rent. Uh, this one, this one is the house belong to me. I want to take it back. I want it the house to be with me. Then comes security. Security is this one, this one, this one. This can happen, which is tanwau. So they are all interconnected, but they are also separate on its own. You cannot connect. I give overall the look. Hello, if you're talking to Filipino, dari Manila, ha ha ha, I don't think they can get it. No big deal. Then you go down a bit, Mindanao, ha ha, I don't think they can get it. You go to Zamboga, oh, maybe they can get it. Sulu, no lah, I don't think they can get it. But certain of them think they will get it. So perspective juga ni. So for them, especially yang di Sulu tu, or Zamboga, the stampa judgment of 14.9 billion tu, it confirms that Sabah, belong to them, as the Paris court decided to award 14.9 billion to the claimants. And then they also think, yang stampa punya final award tu, means final. Tapi they don't understand. When I go, I sit down with them, I said, no, it's not done yet. There is this layer and layer and layer of appeal. They said, no, it's final. They said, that's what it's called, la, final. But it's not final because there are appeal and appeal. Based on, that is like one year ago, based on now, we kind of are, we are kind of winning the case lah. So we are winning the appeal, but belum final lagi nih. It's not as final as what we think lah. Okay, so my count argument lah. Even if the Paris court overrules the Sampa judgment, just say kita menang lah to final award, they will say, it's not as if like they sana kan, they will read, oh, 1,000 judgment, hmm, betul juga. Oh, no wonder, yeah, it doesn't belong to us. For them, no, they will not read the final judgment. They will, they will say, they, they, and then understand why Sabah doesn't belong to them. Lah. They will say, 
Tengok, Sabah curi lagi from us. <laughs> I mean, Malaysia stole Sabah from us again. Okay? So, we're going to be end sudah. Oh, done already. Huh? Uh, okay, never mind. Let you all ask questions lah. So, okay. Ah, so, I want to talk about the court case. The court case is very interesting. I will quote uh, Mugu's story today. Uh, he quoted Roger Chin. Yeah. SLA, former what? So, people ask me. Said, ah, tengok sudah menang. Because Tampa is what? The answer is, it, they belum habis lagi. You know why? Uh, many people also ask. Some Sabahan also I shared in group. Saya kenal juga. But you know how WhatsApp it's kan? Si Anwar no tu. People will whack you on uh, WhatsApp. So people said, uh, it's a non-issue. Why is Philip, uh, they commented to Shari actually. Why is, why you all want to talk about it? It's a dead issue. Then the other one said, the judgment should have final. Bah? What else again? There's nothing, nothing to talk. So people think that I'm trying to create something lah. Or nothing. Tapi, Okay, why? Uh? First of all, you must understand the lawsuit too. The, uh, that's Tampa Amia too. They are, they are backed by Ethereum. Ethereum is very rich. So, number one, uh, so they have a few cases. Uh, one case, they menang, you know. In Luxembourg, they managed to seize Malaysia punya two assets in Azerbaijan. And lucky, we already sold it. But ada juga money there. Ada one million operating costs. So, but then we put a stop, and then we put a stop that uh, what they call it a stay of execution. They can't take that one that money lah. They can't take that company. Then uh, now it's on appeal, so belum habis lagi. But that one is not under the Malaysian government. It's Petronas. Petronas is fighting that case. Itu baru di Luxembourg belum belum habis lagi. Then we go to uh, Spain. Spain also, like Roger Chin said, although we are in jail, Tampa can appeal. And then knowing that, there's other cases also that they still can appeal. So Madrid is not over yet. Paris, we won the partial award. Itu kita menang. Tapi final award, the result is coming. I think most probably, arguably, we can might win the final award. But it doesn't mean kita menang. One, two, three, four. So the empat kan? I thought, yeah, four. So four pending cases. So I give you this scenario. Just say the final arbitration, Paris said, uh, Paris said that uh, there's no such thing, uh, it is null and void, blah, 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 and everything. But the beauty of the New York Convention is, because we sign it, we are one, 172 countries sign it, is that it's something like once the final, once a ju arbitration judgment is made, it has a life on its own. Cotably timbak the and then die. You can't like take it and then, oh, uh, Paris court said uh, it's not valid, then you can kill it. It has a life on its own. So what they can do with that award, they can go to one, 172 countries, they appeal it. So we are a bit worried about Cent African country and Central Asian country because they can be dodgy. So it, it's not over yet. Many people, bila they baca headline to kan, by, by the authorities, they said, kita sudah menang. Actually, we haven't menang yet. And then don't forget, there are other worrying things also coming. Okay, so the worrying thing is this. The worrying thing, huh? I'm going to end so Danny. What do you think they will do eventually if they don't get paid the 14.9 billion? What will they do? Okay, this is few months after Tanduau. This is the Sambo Zamboga siege. Zamboga city, which is the twin city of Sandakan. They had one month punya siege. So just think about that lah. Uh, in our own... Oh uh, yeah. Okay, that's that's it lah. Uh, 